Respawn tells Color Toolset has changed dramatically with the release of the new version 5 software. Whereas before operators would have to move into the separate effects menu to grade, version 5's multi layer timeline allows colorists to work directly off the timeline through this additional MLT effects toolset, creating a far more fluid, fast, and intuitive workflow. All of the previous color tools from the effects menu are featured. Primary controls are now laid out with both the graphic display of the rings as well as the values that are being applied and can now be manipulated by the GUI itself. This is a commercial which has obviously gone a bit red, so I'll just quickly balance my base using primaries. Version 5 has a new renderless player at MLT so that, even though I haven't rendered this clip, I'm still able to play it back in real time on the output for the client to view. Now that I'm happy with my primaries, I can move on to some secondaries. Secondaries can be activated from the Neo using the dedicated secondaries panel, but for the purpose of this web demonstration, I will use the GUI. A new feature of version 5 is the ability to work both inside and outside selections like HSL and shapes, while on the same cascade, using these in and out settings, which have also been mapped to the panel. In this case, I'll add a shape in order to direct focus and add some ambience by placing an ellipse around the family and warming up the interior. I can then switch to outside and bring down the mids, creating a light vignette. Finally, I can soften it off and the effect is complete. In addition, while previously operators could save shape and HSL settings to the panel, now you can also save entire cascades. While in the primary tools, simply press and hold a preset button until it turns white. That button has now been assigned to the desired cascade. I can now use that cascade or toggle through several others I've already saved to the panel. Thanks to the number of presets available, you can save as many as 12 cascades at a time. And again, once you've selected the cascade you want, you can play the results back unrendered in real time. To demonstrate just a few of the other tools available, I'll save this look to the still store, clear the history back to my balanced base, and then quickly create another, more extreme look. I'll first increase contrast using the S-curve tool, and then give the scene a green hue. Now I'll desaturate the highlights for better skin tones using an HSL selection. I can then do the same to the blacks, cleaning and dropping them. I've lost a lot of colour in the boy's shirt though, but that's fine as I can reference down to previous cascades at any time. Here I'm using the base layers grade while leaving the rest of my look intact. It's bleeding a little into the boy's skin tones though, so I'll limit the key using a custom shape. And there's my finished look. This is of course but one of many looks I could achieve with Pablo's V5 color tools. Saving this to the still store, I can now toggle through several other looks I've created previously, as well as turning these looks off to view my original source image. All of these changes can also be monitored on a new MLT keyframe graph. I'll clear this grade, use my balance setting from the still store, then create a saturation and contrast cascade. Now I'll create a saturation transition by adding a keyframe to the saturation. Keyframes can be viewed in either compound, separate, or overview modes. If I want to view just the saturation, I simply press and hold on the icon. I can add more keyframes anywhere I want and manipulate them any way I wish. deleting them is just as easy. So there's a saturation transition which, again, can be viewed without rendering. All changes can be viewed in the keyframe graph. Using my previous grade, for instance, I can view the keyframes on the shapes surrounding the boy's shirt. I can then manipulate the individual points with remarkable accuracy. In addition to these improvements are all the other colored tools from previous versions, as well as new features like soft mount, I.O. improvements and additional stereo tools and functionality.